Hello guys, you're welcome back to my Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. If you're just joining us, you're welcome. My name is Simon King. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to apply a transition using masking in Adobe Premiere Pro. So kindly hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not already done that. Thank you so much, guys. So in this, you can see that I have two videos over here. The first video is a video of a model. And the reason why this video is great for this effect is because we have someone walking right past the screen and blocking the camera. Now the second video we have is a video of a lady, a photographer, just taking shots around the building. So to achieve this effect, you're going to want to move to the first portion of this clip where this lady began to create new space around here. The new opening here. So if I move one frame backward, there's no opening. So I'm going to move one frame forward and now I can see an opening. So I have a more detailed tutorial of how to create this effect. I'll be dropping the link to that tutorial in the description section. So if you select this at this point, what you want to do is to come over here and select your pen tool. You also want to increase the scale to make sure that you are not omitting any important detail. So you come over to this portion here, select this, select this, select this, go back, select this, select this, select this, take this out, and take this out. Go back to the beginning here and make them touch. And automatically you will notice that the portion we are trying to preserve is the portion that is going out. And this area that we are trying to take out is the portion that is actually being removed. So to invert this, you come over here to your effects control panel and select inverted right over your mask effect. The next thing you want to do is to make sure that you toggle on your max part over here to make sure that Premiere will continue to track this effect while it moves forward. The next thing you want to do is to increase your max feather to ensure that it is smoothened. So let me reduce this bar to fit to see. I think we got it right. So I'm just going to go ahead and select my mask once more. I'm just going to go ahead and select my mask once more so we can continue to build around that. So you can decide to move, you can decide to move to new frames by clicking this arrow here or clicking this here. I'm going to select this and we are going to continue to build around that. So as we are changing these values, Premiere Pro is noticing what we are trying to achieve and we're telling Premiere Pro, hey, record whatever it is that I'm doing here. Take note of this. If you need to add more, you can just hit at the middle and you can add more keys to it. You can add more at any position. At any position you can add more. Take this to 100%. Add over here, drag it drag this, add over here, drag it down. Keep down to be sure that I'm not omitting anything. Okay. Move one frame forward and so all right guys so this could really take a while so i'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this now
all right guys so now that i've completed masking my entire clip you can see that premiere pro has assisted us in tracking the entire mask that we have created now the next thing you're going to do is to drag this layer drag this video into your track layer 2 so that we can bring in this other clip that we are trying to show directly beneath the track layer in video 2 above so what that means is you move over to the first region where we put the first mask okay which is here which is here so at this point here i forgot something and that is why you will notice that going back there's this track over here so i'm going to go back to the first portion where this track happened which is here and then i'm going to go a step backward select my max part and then in this one step backward i'm going to entirely remove my mask so premiere is not going to recognize it a step backward it's only going to recognize it a step forward all right guys so if i take it a step backward you'll notice that we have removed the max part and if i take it a step forward you'll notice we have added the max part so i'm going to deselect that and take it a step backward so directly beneath this layer i'm going to drop this clip 2 over here and if we should press play now you'll see what it looks like now so you can see there it had some rough cuts but you can get the idea of how to create a masking transition in premiere pro Wow, so you can see it. Let me hit it one more time. So the lady walked past the screen and then it transitioned into this other video right here. And that is a complete tutorial of how to create a masking transition in Premiere Pro. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video to the end. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the like button. That goes a long way in helping my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end.